All right, guys, so before we start to actually install Django and, and work with and stuff, we want to create what's called a virtual environment in Python. And you want to do this because you want to keep all your um, packages and dependencies and all that isolated inside of your project rather than in a global scope. Okay, and this is a documentation page uh, for Python 3, and this is the creation of virtual environments. And before version 3.6, you actually had to use, you had to install a package with pip called uh, virtual env. There's some other ones as well. But now with Python 3.6 and up, you can just use the actual VNV uh, package that's included with Python to, to create your environment. So you would run Python 3 or some, or if Python is Python 3, like on Windows, for example, um, you would just use Python and then dash M V E N V and then whatever path you want to create that, um, that virtual environment. Okay. So I'm going to be using my Visual Studio text editor, but before I get into that, I just want to create a project and open it inside VS Code. So I'm in my home folder. I do have a, whoops, a folder called uh, dev. That's where I want to create my project. So I'm going to CD into dev. And of course, you guys can create your project wherever you want. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do a make directory. And I'm going to call this project BTRE. underscore project. Okay. And then we're going to CD into BT RE underscore project. And here's where I'm going to open my text editor. So I'm going to say code dot. That's going to open up VS code inside that directory. All right. And if you're not using VS code, just go ahead and open up your text editor inside this directory. All right, so now I'm going to open up my integrated terminal. I'm going to use this instead because this is I'm going to be using this throughout the, the course. So if I were to do, um, let's see. So we have we have pip and we have pip three. I'm going to say pip three freeze. And what this shows us is basically the packages and, and uh, uh, you know, dependencies that are installed on a global scope on our system. And we don't want this. We want to have uh, we want to have our own environment for this project. Okay, and I don't want like beautiful soup and all this other stuff included in that project environment, that virtual environment. So let's go ahead and create a virtual environment. Now, if you're on Windows or Mac or Linux, the creation of the virtual environment should be virtually the same. Uh, but to activate it is a little different. So I'm going to show the, the, you know, the people on Windows how to do it after, how to activate it after. But to create it, it should be the same. It should be Python, whatever your Python 3 is. If you're on Windows and Python is Python 3, like just do a dash dash version. If it's Python 3, then use that. Um, if not, then you want to use Python 3. Okay. Um, and then we're going to say, just like the documentation, dash M. and then venv and then wherever you want to create this this venv folder okay and you can call it whatever you want i like to just call it venv and i want it in the current project directory so i'm going to say dot slash venv and then and that's that's it that's where i want to put this so i'm going to go ahead and run this okay and then notice up here it's actually created a folder called venv Now, if you're on Windows, it may look a bit different. You're going to have a folder called scripts with an uppercase S and inside scripts, you'll have an activate dot bat file. Okay. On a Mac, you'll have a bin folder with an activate file. So that's where it kind of differentiates in how you activate, um, because right now we just created the environment. We're not actually in it. If I do a pip freeze. We still see all that stuff. Okay. So we're not we're not currently in that directory. So or I'm sorry, in that environment. So to activate that environment, we want to on a Mac. Okay, so this is on a Mac. I'll do Windows after we want to do source and then we want to just um, point to we want to do source and then point to that folder. So we're going to say current directory dot slash and then venv. Okay, and then we want to go to slash bin. and then slash activate. Okay, that'll run the activate script. Okay, once I do that, notice that before my computer name here, we have venv inside parentheses. 
All right, so now we're inside of our virtual environment. Now, watch this. If I do just Python dash dash version, remember it was version 2 before. Now it's 3.7. So from now on, when we're in our virtual environment, we don't need to run Python 3. Okay, Python is going gonna, is gonna to be Python 3 from now on. So no more Python 3, no more PIP 3, as long as we're in our virtual environment, okay? Because we created this virtual environment with Python 3. All right, so now to, to leave the environment, we want to say deactivate, okay? That's it, just deactivate, and now we're out. Now if I do a Python dash dash version, the global version is, is 2 for that. So now we would have to do Python 3 for anything Python 3. All right, so now let me show you how to activate it in Windows. Now, when you created it, like, like uh, where is it? Like this, if it, if it didn't work for some reason, do the absolute path here. Instead of dot slash, go like, uh, if you're on Windows, like C, you know, C slash um, users slash whatever your username is, wherever you put this VNV folder. Okay, try that. And then to activate it in Windows, you want to do uh, Python. Uh, and then you want to go dot slash VENV slash. Uh, actually, no, you don't need to even do Python, I don't believe. So just VENV slash. And then instead of bin, you want to go into scripts. And then you want to do activate dot bat. Okay, so that should. run your uh, virtual environment if you're on Windows. Okay, uh, I don't believe you need the Python. If that doesn't work, you can try it. Also, if this doesn't work, um, try an absolute path. So start at your what C or whatever drive you're on and then navigate to the VN, VNV folder. All right, so try that if you're on Windows and that should get you into the virtual environment. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and activate my virtual environment again with this right here. All right, and if I do a pip freeze, nothing. Okay, so we have nothing installed um, in this particular environment, and that's what we want. And then when we install Django, it'll get installed in, the, in this environment. If we deactivate the environment, it won't be installed in the global scope. All right, so hopefully that all makes sense. Um, and hopefully you're in your environment. Hopefully you see this right here. And in the next video, we're going to install Django.